Hi, it's Joy, and today you're going to be watching Titans Season 1, Episode 9, Hank and Dawn, which will be about Hank and Dawn, I'm assuming. I hope it's not just them that we do get to check in with the rest of the characters, because that was quite some cliffhanger. And I'm hoping that maybe Dawn's going to be okay, maybe this episode will be the one when she wakes up, but I don't really know what to expect, so yeah, let's go. Okay. It's April 24th, 2009. Day okay, so one, flashback. Night one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Alright, I'm Hawk. And I'm Dove. <laughs> not a not for long, at least. We're looking for this creepy. Very. Oh, shit. You're okay? This is very efficient. Good. Superhero no, Alright. Listen we're to we're doctors. Helmets down. are important. For... Oh. I mean, I, I, I sympathize with the reasoning behind this attack, but I don't agree with it as much as we'd all like to be. I have a pedophile in town. Vigilantes rather than superheroes. And this is now. She's still not woken up. <sighs> Don't leave the booze. Is he gonna try and get the harder stuff? If you get caught doing this, you won't be able to sit with her anymore and be there with her. And you'll pretty good prison. Does he just want like the medication he should be having because he's not well, is he? Or is he trying to get like drugs? <laughs> yeah, okay, drugs. So this is him and his original dove as kids. I don't like that we're seeing him alone. Look, Vince is going to show me the weird room. Donnie wants to be a big player. Like his big brother. You guys are lucky to have a mom that works so hard to take care of you. Grab him and run. Hank and Donnie Hall okay, I get the impulse to beat like this guy up. Directed at a teacher. Feeling it quite strongly now. Probably wouldn't be doing it, but... Grab him and run. I'll go see the weight room. God. Out of here! You're such a jerk! Come on. I reverse all three statements about let's not attack people outside of court. I don't care. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Having a good time. Relax, alright? Suffering for all this now. Kuna Matata, baby. Uh, Donnie. Hank? Do you light sensitivity? Oh. Yes. Post concussion syndrome is serious, Mr. Hall. I've seen athletes suffer from sickness. Okay, I can still play, can't I? You, you shouldn't. Rest. You really, really Take shouldn't. Time to heal. Hold them. Why the hell would you do that? Listen, man. They told you, you got to try and save your life. Fucking tell me to calm down again. But I'm looking out for you. Man. I didn't That's fucking fun. ask you to look out for me. Stay out of my your life. brother is going to. Oh dear. Oh dear. Boys, well, you're all gonna get expelled now. Definitely you two. Unless they want to keep him for his athletics. Just do it already. What? Kick us the fuck out. It's one way to stop him playing football. Oh my god. So he's currently sort of trapped reliving his memories, or is this now? What on earth is going on? Nothing happened, Donnie. A lot of counselling and therapy is definitely needed. Letting your anger out and doing something good with it, okay? Vigilantism. It's like he said. I don't like that his little brother isn't around anymore. I so get the impulse of wanting to just murder all of these people. But yeah, I'm very scared because Donnie isn't around in the present. That we've seen. I'm hoping he's just, you know, we can do this. living down the road. Do but I'm very scared. So how and why is Rachel calling to him? Is it like in the present time while she's being sort of attacked by? Ooh, should I get our attention about Dawn? Or are we gonna see some of Dawn's backstory now? <laughs> all British people are fixated on tea and go for like afternoon tea all the time. I don't think I've ever been in my entire life. He's not talked for a long while. He's <sighs> not so good enough. This is just he can very hard to watch. Oh, oh my goodness! Jesus. None of you are very observant. Oh, two handsome lads oh. and such gentlemen. Oh my god! Oh, so their family died in the same accident. Crap. 
My mom died on the street. It helps sometimes. This is my very, brother. very cheap lessons. My only brother. Tell me about it. Same as Donnie. <sighs> Sorry, I don't feel like I'm reacting very much. I'm just really emotional. Like, this whole episode is giving a very emotive look into both of their pasts. Not fair. To hate. I'd like to hear more about your mom. I suppose her mom was quite posh, so she knows how to do all this. She never all English people never miss absolute deep. I'd rather have good sex. <laughs> At least you tried. <laughs> Catch. Mm -hmm. You'd be perfect to join my vigilante squad. Days with you. You're gonna have to talk about it eventually. It's obviously eating you up. I'm really glad they found each other. It's I hope she wakes up. Your brother, isn't it? He's good. He's finally talking about it. She can try and find the coach by herself. Well, she's made it obvious where she's gone. It's the admission of guilt in itself. Go home now. My fingerprints are on all that stuff. Birth of a partnership. So, oh, because I agree with what they're doing in a way. You know, people like that deserve to die. But it's illegal as well to just kill people. You know, you should try and find the evidence on his laptop, tip the police off, I don't know. Like, I don't have any kind of real negative thoughts towards them for their vigilante attacking and I presume murdering. Rachel's calling out to anyone she's ever known. Wake up! Please wake up! Wake up! She's waking up! Okay. Oh, you need to wake up too because. Did she pull the thing out herself? These are very unobservant doctors. She managed to unintubate herself all by herself. Jason Todd. Who the hell is Jason Todd? Rachel needs help. Okay, things are moving. I mean, this hospital really needs to update their security. Not even just their security, it needs to fix like the fact that it didn't notice a patient waking up and removing an intubation tube. <laughs> okay, so that was quite an intense episode, um, focusing strongly just on um, Dawn and on Hank, which I really appreciated. Like, it was quite a beautiful way to see the evolution of their relationship and I guess you can kind of fill in the blanks from like after the first night her saying kind of well we can't do this we can't be like this and eventually they found a way to make the relationship work and to become vigilantes together and yeah they both have it very difficult very sort of the sort of pasts that can really affect you leading into your adulthood but they found this way of dealing with it and it's one of those things that I, I fully know it's just a tv show it's a comic show um but it's one of those things where I can completely sympathise with wanting to go and murder all paedophiles. Like, there's a part of me that thinks, you know, if I was on a jury and someone was accused of having murdered a paedophile, I'd be almost be like, let them go because he was a paedophile. But at the same time, it is illegal to just murder people. And if you can kind of find a way to do it within the law, that's better. But then this is just a TV show. And I mean, given that that was the man that had abused him, I don't think, yeah, I th I'm fine with that. But it was quite, like, kind of an intense... It's also that they started in a very intense way. You know, we've seen them now, they've evolved into kind of trying to stop like wider crime rings and everything, rather than just sort of targeting little people, the, the, well, little people, one pedophile is a huge criminal, but you know what I mean. Kind of, they were doing kind of bigger scale things or just not trying to dismantle organizations rather than just beating up, killing people. I don't know, it's so hard because like I said, I completely unsympathize and agree with that. But you also can't do that, so I don't know. 
Um, but I really sort of seeing how they met and like the minute he had a little brother that there was no mention of and how close they were and there was no mention of him, I was scared. I did not expect I, them to get hit by the truck. I don't even like, it's really quite interesting to watch my reaction. Like, I'm not even sure at what point it registered that they had been hit by that truck. I think I might have just been like, oh, what's happening? Oh dear. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was kind of my mental process. I don't know at what point I registered it, but that was a lot. And in some ways, you know, that's quite a, a dark place to form a relationship. It could could have been not very healthy for either of you if you're using it as a coping mechanism. But what they seemed to be doing was both of them were using their relationship as a place where they had a real outlet for their grief. Because in the circle, he didn't feel like he could go or, or talk. And she didn't feel like she was getting the support that she needed. I mean, to be honest, yeah, we all know life isn't fair. But if someone is like, oh, it was really unfair that there was no one to hate and it's unfair that my mother died. And you go, well, life isn't fair. Well, you see that guy, grief counsellor woman. But, you know, I think they were good for each other in a lot of ways and hopefully each of them were able to kind of form a, I mean I guess we've seen that they formed a um vigilante squad now I feel like in the flashback we said before we had they were fighting and then obviously they didn't date to begin with did they because she dated dick for a while I'm imagining so obviously yeah so she so obviously like, okay so they slept together then she said oh, we can't be together like this but they continued doing their vigilante together afterwards and then she formed a relationship with dick for a while and then he hurt her and left and then she ended up with hank right is that the way their relationship evolved am i i mean don't spoil things for me if i'm going to find out but that's how i'm kind of interpreting the threads the threads the strands and the threads the threads of this that i've got um but we saw in that flashback that when Dick came to join them in that fighting, they were like, oh, did he let you, he, uh, Batman let you come? And then he was like, oh, I don't do everything he says. So I assume they went to Gotham at some point and Batman wasn't a fan of them. So maybe their methods were different to his or I don't know. There's a lot more to be had with everything. I really want to get to explore everything to do with Gotham and Batman. Um, it's been really fun talking about it with a lot of people in the comments, but it's just kind of hard to get a grounding on this show when, with the, how the show is portraying certain things, is at odds with sort of my impressions from my previous knowledge of Batman and everything, but I'm kind of trying to just go based on how the show is showing me of these things. And yeah, I like the fact that, because okay, I really enjoyed this episode. It was a good way to get an insight into them, but it's one of those episodes that shows like to leave you on a cliffhanger with the main plot line, then take you on a tangent episode that has nothing to do with that. And it's very stressful because I just need to know what's happening with Rachel and with Corey's got all her memories back and all of that. Now I still think it's going to be a case of Corey is going to snap out of it and decide, realize that she cares about Rachel. I'm hoping. Um, or at the very least be persuaded by the end of the episode to be remaining and not trying to kill Rachel, but to try and stop the prophecy some other way. But, you know, I wanted to see more of that. This episode, I was hoping maybe at least the final scene would be that. Now we did have, I liked it because it was still relevant. We had Rachel calling out to them in both of their sleeps, in both of them as they were reliving the memory, she was calling out to them, and it was enough that it woke Dawn from her coma, which was very impressive. And she told them to go and find Jason Todd. So that that is, I mean, I thought we'd see him again, but yeah, that, that'll be interesting. Um, and just see yeah, what's going to happen next. So there are, I think, two yeah, two episodes left in the season, which is really not many. So I, I'm very excited to watch them. Oh, I was going to watch them today, but we're having a heat wave again. And I have to, like, shut my window because if I don't, the curtain blind blows and it's too bright with the blind up. So I'm currently dying of heat. So I will watch one episode today and I will watch that. It'll be up on Thursday, um, the next episode of Titan. So yeah, that was fantastic. Thank you for watching.